Welcome back my friends. I'm going to show you guys today a recipe that you're going to be thanking me for later if you're an iced coffee drinker. This is so simple and it's basically cold brewed coffee. Um, this is like for any coffee drinker that likes iced coffee, this is a, a game changer. Um, all you need is basically water, a mason jar or some kind of jar with a lid and some good coffee, your favorite type of coffee. Um, if it's uh, heavy, thicker ground, it's better. Uh, espresso won't work too well because it's too fine. Uh, it'll be harder to filter later um, when you go to filter it. Basically, I have here um, a two liter mason jar. And what I'm gonna do is, I like my iced coffee uh, fairly strong. So I'm gonna be doing um, one cup and I'm using this uh, this Blue Mountain uh, coffee gourmet blend. You guys can use whatever it is your, your favorite blend is. And this is great because it doesn't have the acidity um, of heating the coffee. It's a lot more uh, sweeter, the flavor, the aroma, and it comes out amazing without having to uh, burn or cook the coffee to extract. Um, the aroma so it's actually a lot better especially if you got problems with um, acid reflux or anything like that I know some people get issues from coffee uh, this will be a lot easier on your stomach so basically I'm doing about one cup of ground to my two liter mason jar and I'm gonna just fill it with filtered water my lid on it. Shake it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back in 24 hours and we're gonna filter it and we're gonna have the perfect cold brew coffee. And um, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Okay guys, so it's been 24 hours and the coffee has brewed um, in the cold water. As you can see, it's actually turned the water black. Um, I've tried a couple of different methods to filter this um, cold. I tried the regular coffee filter paper and it just it took way too long and it didn't work out the way I hoped. So I found this really, really fine mesh um, strainer and it actually gets all the grinds out of the coffee even better than the paper filter and a lot faster. So this is what I'm using. Um, you guys can experiment with different strainers and you know, filters and stuff to see what works best for you. The coffee came out pretty dark, as you can see. Um, you could also try different types of coffee to see which one you like best. Um, I'm gonna use just a, a splash of um, of organic valley heavy whipping cream and this is organic no carrageenan in it this is um, really great tasting stuff um, use a little splash of that and add a tablespoon of stevia I'm gonna make add some ice to it I transferred uh, my coffee over to another cup. Now I got the ice in here, and I'm just gonna pour it, um, the coffee with the cream and, and uh, stevia over the ice. The benefits of a cold brew coffee is basically um, that it's a lot less acidic. Um, when you taste it, some of the coffee makers overheat the coffee when it's brewing it, and it, leaves it like an acidic aftertaste. With cold brew, um, the coffee is very smooth and you don't get any of that. Okay guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching the videos. Remember to share with your friends and family and subscribe uh, to help us keep growing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.